this class we discuss with the salient features of main concepts of quadratic equations before going to deal with that let us recall the definition of a polynomial we know that f of x is equal to a naught plus a one x plus a two x square plus etc etc a n x power n is a polynomial of degree n provided a n is not equal to zero if n is one if it is a first degree polynomial then it is called a linear polynomial if n is 2 then it is a quadratic polynomial if n is 3 it is a cubic polynomial if n is 4 then it is called a biquadratic polynomial and so on in general it is a polynomial moreover if we take f of x is equal to 0 then it is called a polynomial equation of special interest is the case to deal with quadratic equations in the presented class therefore if n is equal to 2 then this becomes a not plus a 1 x plus a 2 x square is equal to 0 if a 2 not equal to 0 he is a quadratic equation and more generally this form could be taken as a x square plus b x Plus c is equal to zero if uh, a not equal to zero. As only three coefficients are uh, needed here, we name them a, b, c instead of a not a one and a two. To call this a quadratic equation, we must have, we need to have a not equal to zero. Otherwise, uh, if at all a happens to be zero, it is not a quadratic equation. It can then become a a, a linear equation. but we want to have a quadratic equation for that purpose a not equal to 0 must happen the next thing we have to go through is roots of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 we know the meaning and the difference between roots of an equation and the solution of an equation any value of x which satisfies this equation is called a root of the equation and the set of all such roots is nothing but uh, comprising a solution we say we are now interested to deal with the roots of the equation from earlier algebra we know that x is equal to minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a gives us the formula to find the roots of the equation now it is the time for us to go through the way in which it has been obtained let us look at x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is given of course with a not equal to 0 as a is not equal to 0 let us divide this entirely with a then what happens x square plus b by a into x plus c by a is equal to 0 send this c by a to that side x square plus b by a into x is equal to minus c by a let us now try to view this as a perfect square to make it a perfect square let me add b by 2a whole square on both the sides x square plus b by a into x plus b square by 4a square is equal to b square by 4a square minus c by a you can easily look at this expression this is just nothing but x plus b by 2a whole square is equal to what is the lcm here 4a square b square minus 4ac and from this x plus b by 2a is equal to plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a and send my plus b by a 2a to that side so that it becomes minus b by 2a plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a and uh, the formula of good old days which is known to so many of us has now been obtained 
x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4 ac by 2 a. Like that, we will be able to have the roots of this equation here. The crucial part in this formula lies here. If b square minus 4 ac is positive, root of b square minus 4 ac is a real number. If b square minus 4 ac is negative, root of b square minus 4 ac is a complex number. And if b square minus 4 ac is 0, then the roots will be minus b by 2 a and minus b by 2 a. Therefore, the life, the nature, the character of the roots of this equation are absolutely dependent on the nature of uh, b square minus 4 ac. That is why that particular number b square minus 4 ac is called discriminant of the equation or discriminant of the quadratic expression a x square plus b x plus c because that is the deciding factor to know the nature of the roots. It is generally denoted by capital D that is capital D is equal to b square minus 4 ac and it is called discriminant of the equation.